Hello and welcome back to the channel and I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Uh, anyway, you now join me for this week's Forza Long Guide called Ultimate Driving Machine, which wants you to own and drive the 2016 BMW M4 GTS. So this is the car in question and it will set you back 135,000 credits from the auto show unless you already own it or can pick one up cheaper in the auction house. Now I have also created a tune for this. Uh, it's nothing too quick, but it should hopefully help out with a couple of the challenges. Share code is 142663 four nine eight and it's called forza thon now first of all we're going to move on to the first challenge here which wants you to earn two hard charger skills so for those of you who don't know a hard charger skill is effectively when you get a burnout skill closely followed by a speed skill now you don't have to have a really sort of short run up between the two you get about 10 or 15 seconds after the burnout skill to get the speed skill anyway to do this i recommend doing it somewhere that's nice and straight so i'm doing it on the highway however you could use one of the drag strips now as you see here where i start i start started off just with a normal burnout skill I just held down the, the uh, handbrake and the accelerator and just set off as you normally would and you'll naturally get a burnout skill from that as this is quite a powerful rear wheel drive car and then you just go flat out until the hard charger skill pops up so it's when you hit about 150 mile an hour and then you can see I'm doing the exact same again except just holding down the brake to do it um, and then just going flat out get the burnout skill you obviously don't want to keep the burnout skill going for too long otherwise you won't build up speed quick enough but you still do get a good 10 15 seconds after the burnout in order to get the speed seal and then your hard charger skill so it is quite easy and it doesn't take too long to do either now the next challenge here wants you to earn three stars at the Ladera speed zone now normally with a challenge like this you don't have to get three stars in one run you can get two stars on one run and one star on the last run however i'm going to try and show you how to get three stars on one run here now three stars is 95 mile an hour and I recommend starting from the right hand side. Now the tune I've created can get 95 mile an hour or slightly above on this speed zone. Uh, however, it is a bit trickier so you can obviously tune your car a bit more. But like I said, you can probably get away with doing this with two separate runs earning two stars on each for instance to complete this challenge but it is still achievable to get three stars on one run uh, it definitely helps with these left handers trying to hug them as best as possible and then the last right hander you don't actually need to brake for it you can just let off the gas a little bit and then floor it round and you should get 95 mile an hour but like i said that shouldn't matter too much now moving on to the final challenge here, it's nice and easy, it just wants you to win a road sprint race. So to do this I recommend heading over to the Landura Sprint, if that's how you pronounce it, I might be wrong. Um, now obviously any race that's got sprint at the end of it that's a road race will complete this challenge. I've created a race for you to use, it's called Forzathon Easy and the share code is there on your screen. And it's just a normal race but with no AI driver tasks, so you've not got to worry about beating anyone and it's a very easy way to win and complete the final challenge there. Now hopefully this guy did help you out but if you're struggling with any of the challenges then please do let me know down below in the comments and I will try my very best to help you guys out. If it did help and you're new to the channel I very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well. Also don't forget to stick around for this week's photo challenge guide too. Now if this is the last time that I do a video this year I want to say a massive thank you for everyone's support. I want to wish you all a very happy and prosperous 2024 uh, and thank you very much for sticking with me and hopefully my guides will continue to help within the new year. But apart from that folks I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.